easy spine. Relax through your shoulders. Just listen to my voice. Don't worry about following me for now. Your knees are back, your feet are flat on the floor. Extend your arms by your sides, your palms are gonna be facing up. And just relax, become really heavy. Listen to your spine, take a nice long inhale through your nose. And a nice long exhale through your mouth. And now go ahead and separate your knees to drop them to the two sides. Place the soles of your feet together and breathe into your hip flexors. And again, nice long inhale. And a wonderful long exhale. One more time. Good, with your next inhale, reach your arms all the way above your head, stretching through your upper body, lifting through your ribcage. And with an exhale, collect your knees and place your hands on your knees, pull them gently towards your chest and go for rotations. Five times you're gonna rotate your knees in one direction, leading with your hands. Just calming down your hips. Nice and slow, lots of breathing. Your shoulders are very relaxed. In fact, keep them very heavy for now. And then when you're done with your five times in one direction, no rush, start to move in the opposite direction, whatever that direction may be. Long inhalations and long exhalations. The lower back should be lovely, placed flat into the mat. Very nice. Good. And then from here, go ahead and separate your knees and reach your arms between your knees. Grab your toes, maybe just big toes, maybe the entire, uh, all of the toes, and start to straighten your legs just a tiny bit. Going into happy baby here. So tuck your knees under your shoulders, under your arms, in fact, and separate them, really separate them. Nice um, kind of roundness to your lower back here and still a lot of heavier, heaviness in your shoulders and very relaxed neck. Very nice, very nice and wonderful. All right, so go ahead and release your right leg now down to the floor. Keep your knee soft or even bent and start to straighten your left leg. And I realize that it's possible that going all the way to straight knee may not exactly be an option, but just do your best. Wonderful. Pull it towards your chest. Inhale, and with an exhale, using your core muscles, sit up. Nice. If you can, hold on to your toes. That's beautiful. If you cannot, see if you can just um, use your, uh, place your hands on your ankle. Either one is fine. Really opening up your hamstrings. You can keep your right leg straight or bent, whatever works the best, and start to lift through your chest. So this is definitely a lot of effort. Inhale, open up, exhale, round your back just a little bit, release it. And with your next inhale, once again, lift through your upper body, open up through your chest. And with an exhale, release it. One more time, lift, and we're gonna stay here. You're gonna go ahead and bend both of your knees, rotate your left leg so that you can place your left ankle right above your right knee. Settle in here. Place your hands behind you. Open through your chest, pull your shoulders back and get ready to lift your hips into an upside down tabletop position. Ready, inhale. And with an exhale, gently lift all the way up. This is a big heart opener. It's definitely something happening to your left hip flexor.
One more breath. Maybe drop your head if it feels okay. And then gently drop your hips all the way down. Nice. Release your left leg once again. It's nice and straight. And go ahead and place your right hand either on the ankle or on the outer edge of your left foot and reach your left arm all the way behind you. This is your first rotation of the day. Keep lifting through your chest. Draw your shoulders back. Wonderful, and go ahead and re-rotate. And hug your knees and roll back. Beautiful, this time you're gonna just rock your knees side to side, just a tiny bit, repositioning the hips. Release your left leg, and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with our right leg. Grab your foot or your ankle, wherever you can reach, and start to straighten it. Definitely much more activity. Compare the two sides, always good. Easy does it. All right, get ready to lift up using your core muscles, inhale. And exhale, lift. Wonderful, once again, do whatever you wanna do with your left leg for now, wherever you can, and we're gonna go around and straighten our back again. Inhale, lift through your chest. And exhale, round and release it. And again, inhale, open through your chest, lifting up, pulling your leg as close to your chest as you can, and exhale, release it. One more time, and this time we're gonna stay here, and we're gonna prepare to open up our hip. So go ahead and bend both of your knees, rotate your right leg, and bring that right ankle on top of your left knee. Place your hands behind you. Lift once again through your chest. Place your left foot just a tiny bit closer. You should definitely feel the stretch here. Roll your shoulders back, open up your chest. Inhale and start to lift with an exhale. Three breaths here again, opening up. Do not sink into your shoulders. Really a lot of work here. Your left glute is working. One more breath. And gently dropping our hip back. Nice, release that. Straighten your right leg again. And this time your left hand comes on the outside of your right ankle or the outer edge of your right leg. Inhale, open up through your chest one more time. Drop your shoulders and rotate. Just three breaths with all of these. Nice. Go ahead and re-rotate and release and straighten your legs in front of you. Reach your arms overhead. Maybe shift your body gently side to side to release the muscles and reach forward. Opening up through your lower back just a tiny bit more. And see if you can pull your chest towards your knee, uh, towards your knees first, and then lift through your chest. And now see if you can tr try and make connection between your chest and your toes. Easy does it. I want openness. And I want you to feel really happy about this. Keep pulling your shoulders back, but everything is gentle. One more breath. Beautiful. And go ahead and release your arms. Lift up once again through your body and bring your hands behind you. Point your toes. And we're going to go into upside down plank. Inhale and lift up with an exhale. Squeeze your glutes. Open up your chest. Ah. <sighs> Nice. Drop, bend your knees, and come into a crouching position. 
Walk your hands forward, step off of your legs back, and we are in our tabletop position. Good. So the spine should definitely be warmer, and I assume that given that you have come here from a different class, your body in general is pretty warm. So now we're just going to really work on the flexibility. So start by really arching your back. Much more effort here than in the previous one. I'm really looking at your tailbone, touching the top of your head. Soften your elbows. It really helps. And then come into a very, very round back with your nose touching your tailbone under your belly button. We're gonna add forward and back movement here. So once again, roll your shoulders all the way back. Arch your back as much as you can and move gently forward, drop your hips, no breath. Come back into cow, round your back, drop into child's pose. Lift up again, cow, open up, shift your hips back, chest is open, lifting up, round your back into your cat, and bring the hips back into child's pose. One more time, coming back, cow, press your hips forward, Chest is even more open, coming back, bringing yourself into cat, really round back, pressing your hips all the way back, feeling a good stretch in your underarms, and we are back. Good. So now we're going to try and do a very similar thing, but with our downward facing dog, coming into cobra from there. Nice and warm now. So roll your shoulders back, tuck your toes, really arch your back, inhale, and press your hips up as you're opening up into your down dog. Let's stay here for three full breaths as you're shifting your hips side to side, opening up the back side of your legs. Your hamstrings are a little bit more open than they would have been otherwise. So work on bringing your shoulder blades together, arching and open, your back and opening up your chest. Ready, inhale, lift up on your tippy toes, tuck your tailbone under, start to round your back, tuck your chin under as you're coming all the way into your plank position and then roll your shoulders back and drop all the way down and we are in upward facing dog. You're very welcome to drop your knees here and find your cobra. Inhale, and we're going to reverse that. Tuck your chin, round your back, bring your shoulders slightly closer to your ears. You're still on your tippy toes, and then start the arching and lifting of the tailbone. Two more times. Inhale, and exhale, coming all the way. Inhale. And with an exhale, start to round. Lots of movement in that beautiful spine. One more time. Lifting up, rounding, and coming forward and arching. And starting by rounding, 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 and then back into our downward facing dog. Release your right leg all the way up. Bend your knee and open up your right hip flexor as you're rotating your right hip and your right knee. Inhale. And with an exhale, find your pigeon. So bring that right knee toward your right wrist and right big toe somewhere toward your left wrist. And very gently, knee toe your left leg out into the active position first. So shift your hips gently side to side. We are really aspiring to a very strong and straight spine here. We're trying not to just lean into the right side. That part is important. Beautiful. And for the next 30 seconds, we're just gonna go ahead and relax. And I want you to 
draw your chest forward as opposed to just rounding your back and tucking your chin. And it's almost like you're trying to lay your chest on the mat. 30 seconds. Long inhale and long exhale. Make adjustments. Nice. With your next inhale, go ahead and press into your hands as you're lifting up. And again, your back is nice and arched and very strong. Your shoulders are back, your shoulder blades are touching, your chest is forward, like your left leg. Left toe, sorry, inhale and lift up. And once again, all the way back, 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 and drop it down. Got it? We'll do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, left leg rises. Bend that knee, rotate. Try and keep the pressure on both of your shoulders as close to square as possible. Really rotate only through your lower back and through your waist. Beautiful, inhale, and with an exhale, go ahead and start to move forward, placing the left chin down, such that it works with your knee, and then knee toe your right leg back. Nice, big open space, open chest, big arch in the back, gently shift your hips side to side, take your time getting into it. Good, and then when you're ready, once again, it's the chest that comes forward. There's that space on the other side of your shin bone, and that is where you're trying to place your chest. And for the next 30 seconds, we're just gonna enjoy the stretch. And just as before, I encourage you to move your body gently side to side, just to kind of keep those adjustments happening. Because as you open up, you should be able to go just a tad deeper. Beautiful. One more breath, please. And then with your next inhale, go ahead and press into your hands. Open one more time and hopefully feeling that, ooh, something good has just happened. Tuck your toes, inhale. And with an exhale, use your core muscles in order to lift up. Bring that left leg high. And then drop it down to the floor. And then go ahead and sit down facing me. Bring your legs as wide as your inner thighs allow you. Relax your toes, relax the, um, your feet, and keep your knees kind of wide um, and um, soft and pointing up toward the sky. Okay, so relax here. Once again, shift side to side. And we're going to go ahead and start to walk our hands forward. The easy does it. Feeling the strength. Stretch, opening up once again as your lower back. And then from here, very slowly and gently, start to straighten your knees and lean a tiny bit more into the mat in front of you. Use your hands to help you. Move side to side. Now, very gently start by tucking your toes, so really lift them up. And you want to make sure that both your knees and your toes are facing up. And go ahead and then bring your right hand all the way towards your right foot. Place your right arm parallel to your leg. It's okay if you're not quite there, but this is basically what I'm looking for. Really right arm parallel to your right leg. Do not lose the toes on the left side. Reach your left arm up. 
Find the length in the left side of your body. Keep your left hip on the floor because it will want to come up and then start to lean just a tiny bit more. Drop your um, neck, drop your head, drop your, relax your neck, drop your head. Very wonderful. Reach your left arm up, rotate, and then walk through the center. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Left arm is on the floor, palm is facing up. Right arm comes up. Breathe. Open up and then see how far you can bring your right arm over. Drop your head, relax your neck. Three breaths here. Make sure that your right hip is still on the floor. Beautiful. Reach your right arm up first, relieving a little bit of your body from the stretch. It's a hard one. We rotate, walk forward, and then lift all the way up. Good. So now we have our hamstrings stretched and our inner thighs stretched, and our backs are nice and open and stretched out. So go ahead and find your yoga squat. Press your hands together, your elbows are pressing into your knees, you're dropping your tailbone, and you start to open up and lift up through your sternum. Shoulders are back. Very nice. Place your hands on the floor, lift your hips up, rotate your feet, and they are parallel to each other and you are in a forward fold. Reach your arms and clasp them behind you. Open up through your chest. Inhale and with an exhale in that forward fold. You're gonna try and draw your knuckles as far above your head as your shoulders allow you. And then gently pull with one arm and then the other, like you're going through a little pendulum here three times. Drop your head, long neck. Very nice. Go ahead and place your hands on your hips. Lift up all the way. Good. Rotate your right foot so that it is facing the right side of your mat. Rotate your left heel so that you are slightly diagonal. And now go ahead and rotate your hips forward. We're going to work a little bit on that pyramid. Reach your arms once again up. Arch your back and with an exhale, go ahead and come into a forward fold. Place your hands on the floor, on the mat. Reach your chest as close to your right knee as you possibly can. One more, just so that your body knows exactly what we're looking for. And then go ahead and lift your arms as you're bringing your body parallel to the floor. Staying here. Pull your shoulders back, one more breath. And then lifting all the way up. Chest is open, come into a big arch, inhale, and once again, forward fold, release your arms to the sides, and then place them on the floor. Hugging your right foot, so to speak. Wonderful. One more time. Release your arms. Start to lift all the way up. Arms are strong. They are parallel, parallel to your ears. Your right hamstrings are working really hard. Lots of muscles there to get engaged here. Your core is working as well. Inhale one more time. And with an exhale, lift up. You have to press into your right foot in order to do that. One last time. Inhale, look all the way back. See how far you can go. And then separate your arms, come all the way forward. And this is our little re reset. Hips are still very square. 
Inhale, reach your arms out and start to lift. We are once again parallel to the floor. Pull your shoulders back. Just three breaths here. And when you're done with your last one, start your inhalation. And with a full exhale, go ahead and come all, all the way back. Beautiful. Place your hands back on your hips. Reassess. Good. Should be all wonderful. Let's start in the opposite direction. So I'm moving to the left side. My left leg is parallel to the long side of the mat. My right is diagonal. And I'm shifting my hips now so that they are square. Open up, inhale, lift through your chest, arch your back, lots of back arching today, and with an exhale, forward fold. Staying here for just a tiny bit longer than what we're going to do later on, just so that we kind of figure out how far our chest goes down, how we're hinging at our hips, where our necks are and shoulders. <sighs> Wonderful. And then from here, go ahead and release your arms and start to lift. Lots of flexibility, definitely a lot of strength here. Please rely on your hamstrings and on your core muscles. One more breath. With your next inhale, we're going to start to lift up. And with an exhale, we're back in this position. Good. Inhale, arch your back, lean as far as you possibly can. Separate your arms, forward fold. Hands are on the mat, chest is active, shoulders are back. Inhale, reach your arms. They are now parallel to your ears, halfway, three breaths. Wonderful, lifting all the way up. Exhale at the top. One last time. Inhale, go ahead and go as far back as you possibly can. Once again, separate and rotate your hands and your arms and your shoulders as you're coming into your final forward fold. Reset, inhale, arms in front. And we have lifted our body. Keep paying attention to your shoulders. Do not let them come up to your ears. Your back is as straight as you can have it. Nice. And then from here, we're coming all the way up. Inhale one more time. And with an exhale, release your hands back. Place them on your hips. Are you still square in your hips? Is your lower back stronger and more flexible? And hopefully the answer is yes to both. All right, we rotate. Place your feet a little bit tinier, more apart than your heels. And then from here, we're back into our squat. And that sound is what my knees make. Ah. Very nice. And then from here, go ahead and place your hands back on the floor, rotate toward the front of the mat. And once again, we are in the tabletop position. All right, once again, cat and cow. We're gonna start with that cat, dropping our hips all the way back into child's pose. And then coming through the center, rolling our shoulders, finding our cat, and bringing our hips all the way forward. Very nice. Release your toes, straighten your knees. Your flexors should be much more open. Maybe sway your hips gently side to side if that feels okay. Good. Drop your knees on the floor. And once again, come through the center, round your back, and go all the way into that child's pose. Shift your hips gently side to side. Inhale, and once again, very round back. 
that starts to arch through this and we are forward into our upward facing dog. If you don't want to do that and want to stay in Cobra, that's perfectly fine. This one is a stronger pose, but whatever works for you today. One last time, start with going into your cat, tucking your tailbone, hopefully feeling that something good has happened since the beginning of this practice half an hour ago. And once again, open all the way up. And moving all the way back into our cobra. Pull your shoulders back, chest is lifted, tuck your toes, inhale, exhale, down dog. Good. So that same movement in the spine now is going to be a little bit more of a work for our core and the shoulders. Inhale, right leg rises. Bend that knee once again, rotate it so that the knee's facing the ceiling. Lift it up, lift it up, right glutes are working really hard. Inhale, re-rotate, lift up on your left tippy toes, round your back and bring your right knee towards your nose and your nose towards your right knee. There's that round back. Inhale and start to release that. Left heel goes on the floor and once again, knee is pointed toward the sky. Go just a tiny bit deeper into it. Inhale again. And with an exhale, coming back into round back, lift on your left tippy toes, touch your knee to your nose. One more time. Inhaling, opening up. And exhaling, coming in. And from here, continue moving forward. Use your core and your shoulder strength. And once again, drop that right knee on the floor. Start to knee toe your way into active pigeon. Several variations here. I definitely invite you to come into a more active version, but if you feel like you've had plenty, this is the time to relax and drop yourselves once again into an active one. Otherwise, your right hand is on the floor and go ahead and bend that left knee, reach back and grab your left ankle with your left hand. And just play here both with the stretch and the strength of your legs. And finally, the last variation of what we're gonna be doing here is you're also releasing your right arm, reaching back and grabbing the right leg. Five breaths. Big arch in the back, chest is open, shoulders are working, and of course you're working your legs. Good. Wherever you are, gently start to relax here. And we're gonna go back into tucking our left toes, lifting all the way up, reach your right leg up, 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 and drop it down. Nice. Let's repeat that on the other side. Inhale, lift that left leg, bend the knee, and we're gonna go for the rotation. Left hip flexor is really, really open. See if you can keep your shoulders as square as you can. Ready, inhale. And with an exhale, lift up on your right, tip your toes around your back, and bring your knee to your nose, nose to your knee. Two more times, right heel goes on the mat, you know, arching, 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 and rotating, and exhale, round your back, knee, nose, nose, knee. One last time, opening, and exhale, closing. And from here, inhale, lift up, and start to move your body forward as you're planting your left shin on the mat and then knee toe your right leg as low as you can. And once again, check and see how you feel. No one else is important. 
If you want to go and fully relax here, please do. If you think you wanna challenge yourselves, left hand stays on the mat. You're gonna bend your right knee, reach back and grab your right ankle or your right foot with your right hand. And maybe this is as far as you wanna go. You're getting the benefit of the stretch of your right hip flexor and your right quad. If you want to really challenge yourselves where you have to really balance, release your left arm and left hand goes and grabs your right foot. Three more breaths. Long ones, wherever you are, calm yourselves down. Wonderful. And then gently release your left hand, your right hand. Settle in here, tuck your right toes, press, use your core, press into your hands, lift up and send that left leg all the way up and then back down on the floor. All right, start to walk towards your hands and then hands towards your feet on both sides and see if you can just straighten them down using your core muscles here. Good. So let's see how far we've come. And we're gonna once again, roll our shoulders back. We're gonna hug our right knee and then we're gonna grab our right foot or ankle and straighten our leg. Okay, this is where we started. Whatever you want to do where your left leg is perfectly fine, you're very welcome to bend it and actually place it on the floor. If you want to keep it straight, that's great too. Wonderful. All right, we're going to reposition our left hand, grabbing the outer edge of the right leg, reaching, reaching, reaching once again, and rotating. One more. Nice, re-rotate, place your right hand on the inner edge of your right foot and rotate in the opposite direction. Press your right foot into your right hand. This is the support. Do not round your back. Lift, 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 lift. Very nice. Re-rotate, bend your right knee. Once again, place it right on top of that left knee. Bend it, placing your hands behind you. Inhale in and with an exhale, lift your hips up. Maybe drop your head, but for sure, pull your shoulders back and shift your hips as high as you can. Dropping your hips down after your third breath. Stay here for just a little bit. I want us to try and really, really open up our hips. So you're supporting yourselves with your hands and you're pressing your chest forward and you are hip toeing your left foot as close to your left hip as you can. You should definitely feel the difference. So the closer your chest is to your shin bone, the more you should be feeling the stretch. Maybe move it slightly side to side. I hope it feels good. Good. And then go ahead and release that. Give yourself a space. And then right leg goes out. And go ahead and grab your left foot or ankle and straighten it as much as you can. And just like we did before, please concentrate on the lower back being as neutral as possible. Lifting through your sternum, really, really opening up. And I don't know if you want to keep your right leg bent or straight, whatever works for you the best doesn't really matter. As long as you see that both your left hamstrings, left leg, your arms and your shoulders, everything is working with you. Right foot now, right, <laughs> right hand goes on the outer edge of your left foot. Inhale and go ahead and rotate. And once again, pay attention to this not happening. It's all still very, very open. There's a lot of balance happening here. Breathe. 
<sighs> Good. Go ahead and re-rotate. Now left hand comes on the inside of your left foot and you're gonna rotate in the opposite direction. Once again, check yourself in the mirror if you have one and press your left foot into your left hand as you are pressing your left hand into your left foot. Beautiful. All right, re-rotate. Go ahead and bend that left knee. Place your left ankle right above your right knee. Lean back, support yourselves with your hands. Right foot is on the floor. Chest is open, ready, inhale, and with an exhale, go ahead and lift all the way up, 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 up. Don't sink into your shoulders. Your arms are working. Your left hip is opening up. Beautiful, and after your third breath, very gently drop those hips down. And now we're gonna try and go into just pure stretch. So rely on your hands here to help you keep your back straight and chest open. And go ahead and bring your right foot a little bit closer towards your hips and your hips towards your foot. And maybe gently move side to side. You should immediately feel the difference between the two sides. Very nice. We're going to do one last thing before we start to wind down. And that is we're going to check and see how strong we have become because we're so much more flexible. So go ahead and hug your knees and rock yourselves without hitting anything into a chair pose. Good. Once you're there, I need you to release your right foot Bend your right, well, your right knee is already bent, and then go ahead and place your right ankle onto that left knee. This is exactly what we have just done, but seated in much less active position. From here, we're gonna slide into eagle legs. So go ahead and slide that left, right leg over and either place your right toes on the floor right next to your left foot or lift or possibly find the bind. Wherever you are this morning is beautiful. Arching your back, opening through your chest. After your third breath, slide your right foot, right ankle whoop, back. And then go ahead and release that right foot, placing it right next to your left. Release your left foot, rotate, and left ankle is on top of your right knee. I hope your balance is better than mine this morning. Slide and find your ego. To try doing that on solid floor. Three breaths in each position, please. And then when you're done, once again, slide that leg up. And find your chair pose. Sorry about that. Get your arms up. Inhale, and with an exhale, find your way down. Lie down on the mat. And once again, drop those knees to the sides. Place the soles of your feet together. Good. Relax through your sternum. Relax through your back. Relax through your shoulders. Once again, close your eyes and just observe your body and see if you feel the same as you did when we have just started this practice. 
And I hope that you feel that you're a little tiny bit more open and it's easy to keep your lower back more or less arched. Your palms are facing up, your arms are by the sides of your body. Take a long inhale. Expand your rib cage as you do that and relax through your exhale. Relax every single vertebrae in your spine. Stay with me here for just a tiny bit more. One more breath and each time I want you to listen to it and relax through your shoulders. Very nice. Go ahead and lift up your knees, reach your arms between your knees, just like we did at the very beginning and either grab your toes or just your big toes with your hands, respect, and uh, start to gently straightening those legs, really straighten them all the way. See if you can actually pull them a little bit over your head, keep your shoulders relaxed, minimal effort here. Really, really long spine. <sighs> and now bend your knees and tuck them into your underarms. Separate them as much as you can and gently rock side to side. Should feel like a massage. Shoulders should be relaxed. Literally, the only thing that should be working right now in your body is your fingers that are holding your toes. Inhale. And with an exhale, rock yourself into a comfortable seated position. Reach your arms all the way up. Lean gently a little bit to your right side. Come through the center and lean to the left. And go ahead and rotate your body gently side to side. Two more times. Releasing, if you have any tension still left, just release it, relax. This is the beginning of a beautiful day. The hardest part is behind us. Reach your hands all the way up once again, and then place them together and drop them down to your heart center. And thank you so very much for joining me today. I'm really honored. Namaste. Thank you, ladies. I'm going to come and say hi.